Good afternoon. From a, well it's looking a bit grey now, but we did have a lot of sunshine earlier. Currently on holiday, so clearly not where I'm supposed to be. So we're definitely not in Peterborough. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we're in uh, South Wales, quite a posh area in South Wales. And here's the King of Clenethley. Did I pronounce that right? Not too bad for an English fella. Clenethley, close enough. So the much viewed pond, the much viewed fish, the much viewed filter house, my turn to have a look round. And as ever when you watch videos, whoever puts them on, the fish look a particular size until you see them in black and white. And they are very big, way bigger than what you'd expect. So let's have a quick look. Come on guys. <laughs> I have to look through the window. There's this special, special hole holding up the roof. We don't want that to fall down. So we've been talking pond for quite some time. Talking upgrades, talking shows. Talking treatments. Hello. And there is a very nice selection in here. As you've seen before. So Lee and Yaz and young Wolfie have been really looking after us. We had a nice lunch. Where were we? Tembe. We went to Tembe. So we'll go down the garden. You've seen this time after time, but it's very interesting to see it in the flesh. That looks so nice. Water quality looks amazing. So the reason why we're down here is on the 30th of June, which by the time this comes out will have passed, it's Kat's 50th birthday. So we've come down to South Wales to a place called Plan Stephen, which is west of Clenethley, where we are at the moment, in a really nice beach house, except the weather's not going to be good for the rest of the week, so anyway. We've been having a big discussion about Oasi, the good, the bad and the indifferent, but uh, Lee will talk you through that. We've had a good chat about electrics. And also chatting about Whenever anybody builds poles, is it big enough? And when anybody puts a filter house together, is it big enough? So lots of things in the pipeline for Lee in the future. There's his little grow on. Got some fine looking fish in there. Nice to have a good look at these. They are very nice and it's very warm in here. Despite the fact that the door's open, it's lovely and warm. But anyway, as you've um, probably subscribed to Lee, and if you haven't, you must do. You've probably seen video after video after video of his trials and tribulations that he's had to go through in order to get this far. So I'm not going to bother you anymore, uh, or bore you anymore with walking around his pond. Uh, but just to say a big thank you to Lee and Yaz and Wolfie for looking after us in Tenby. And it was boiling hot. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll put something else on after this. See ya. Haha. <laughs> so, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So you know the 10 in 10, Andy, and we know your Derby Coy, yep. and we've got... The Mind Star. Baisley, <laughs> who's not really interested in the camera at the moment. So we're going to do a 10 in 10, but could possibly be an 11 in 11. So first question, our first introduction is your name, your age, your home, and your profession. 
My name is Andy from Derby Coy. I recently turned 40, nine years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from South Derbyshire and my profession is a small plant mechanic. Small plant mechanic. So your first question of your potentially 11 and 11, how many koi keeping years do you have? Uh, personally, on my own koi, I'd say about five now. Um, before that, I had goldfish. I mean, mum had koi many years. Okay. But for myself personally, five years. Five years. Okay. Question two: What is your current pond size and the amount of fish you have? Uh, current pond size is approximately ten thousand liters, and I have. I've had recently put some new ones in, so I remember now. Um, I think it's eleven koi in the main pond. Eleven. Koi. And four goldfish in there, plus my grow ones. Okay. Question three, always a controversial one, is this your forever pond? I'd like to say no. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> he's not <laughs> Right, as he's not here, it's a definite he's, he's no. He's hiding in the background. Radio, radio. <laughs> I'd like to say no, I'd like to obviously change the pond, and but who knows? Okay. Who knows? Uh, so, question four, if all your pond and fish disappeared overnight, what would be your alternative hobby? Uh, I'd go back to an old hobby, I think. I've had many hobbies in the past, uh, but I did like fishing. Fishing? Go back to fishing. I've been fishing for probably seven years, maybe. Right, yeah. Uh, okay. I gave it up for work, and now this, it's just took over various things. So I'd like, probably like to go back to that. Okay, okay. So, in the koi keeping world, what has been your biggest triumph? Biggest triumph? Um, I'll probably say starting a YouTube channel, to be honest. Okay, and yeah. And growing yeah. it as, as big as it has, I've never in my wildest dreams expected it to grow like it has, right. and as well as it has. So that's yeah. probably my biggest achievement, and to be honest, yeah. Good. Uh, question six. Give me one piece of advice for new koi keepers. Uh, one piece of advice. Uh, well, everybody goes down the old one of research, research, research. That's a good one, but for me, knowing now, Whatever size you think a pond you want, go bigger. Right, because yeah. you'll regret it. Okay. Uh, I think I was talking to Andy at Koi Pond last time yesterday. He said it's like having to buy a 50 inch television. Thought, oh, that looks big. Two weeks later, I could have gone for the 60 inch. Yes, and just the same with the pond, no matter how big you go, you'll always want bigger. So right. go as big as you can. My, that was my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Question seven What has been your biggest mistake? Going back to that last one, not going big enough. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when I originally done the pond, it was actually going to be half the size again. When I actually put the footprint out, yeah, yeah, I'd actually dug the turf off and everything to, for the size of the pond, ready to go. And I got the filters and everything else. And when it comes to the liner, oh, I nearly fell over. So I thought at the time I couldn't afford it, so I thought I'd just go oh. smaller. I wish I'd have waited and yeah. saved the money. It's the that's my biggest regret, not waiting and going bigger. Easily done. So question eight future plans or other is it a secret uh, no no secrets obviously I'm doing the grow on at the moment yeah um, yes I'd love to make the pond bigger at some point yeah um, I don't know if this year or next year maybe I'm thinking of putting a either a bog or a veg filter on the side yeah um, so a little bit of room between the pond and the, my what I call my pump house where my ball valve and stuff is so it's a bit of room there to put one in yep so that's a possibility for this year Good. See how it goes. Right, this is a pretty easy one. Question nine: Do you get support from your partner? Yes. Business is <laughs> a star. <laughs> Good job he's not listening. Yeah, he, he's currently off camera at the moment, so we'll not turn it around. <laughs> no, yeah, hundred um, percent. Obviously, he helps with the does a lot of the editing, if not all of it, sometimes. Right. Okay. Most of the editing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and when I'm at work, he feeds the fish, and he will do the filter cleans if needed. Right. I like to do them myself, but yeah, if, yeah. I, if I ask him, if I say I'm going to be working late or I can't do it today or whatever, he's got no problem going out and do it. He enjoys it himself, to be honest. Perfect. Perfect. Last question from humans, if you like. What is your current favourite fish? Uh, my current favourite fish is one from the very start. It's going to be a goshka. I love a goshki. Yes. I yeah. just don't have any luck with them. <laughs> I, right. the, I think I've had two so far. The one, no, three. The one passed away, disappeared when I was younger. I think a heron had it when I was younger. Yeah. When I first had the pond. Yep. I had one then that completely lost all its colour. Yep. It's when I don't know what it turned into. And then I had another one as a grow one. And I, Vince was looking after me, and unfortunately, that passed away. I got caught in the liner 
yeah. and he didn't survive, so uh, I don't know much luck with Goshkis, but I'm still on the lookout. Okay, yeah. and just as a bonus question, so we can call this 11 in 11, when young Bisley requires a dog biscuit who is more likely to get the hand in the bag and pull that dog biscuit out. Uh, is it going to be Graham, who's off camera? <laughs> it's going to be me. <laughs> I'm too Or is it going to be Andy? <laughs> who's it going to be? To be honest, we both do it nine times or ten. It is me. He's it got is you. puppy dog eyes. He'll sit there in front of me and just look at me. Okay, do you want a treat? And he'll have a treat. <laughs> Brilliant. So, thank you, Andy, Bisley and Graham off camera. That thank is you. your 11 in 11. Fantastic. One at this side out the wind. Good afternoon. Stay where you are. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can you give me your name, your age, your home, and your profession? It's Anthony Day, aka Crafty Coy, 45, and a field operations manager. And where do you live? Northampton. Northampton. So your first question is, how many koi keeping years do you have? Five. Okay, that was quick enough. So, number two, what is your current pond size and how many fish do you have? Current pond size is 1,000 litres, but I'm in the middle of a build to approximately 4,500 gallons. Excellent. So, number three, this could be the, the, the question, would that then be your forever pond? Yes. Ah, right, okay. Question four. If your pond and your fish disappeared overnight, what would be your alternative hobby? Photography or videography. Videography, okay. Koi keeping, what's been your biggest triumph? It's not so much a triumph, but for me personally, it's the extent of the knowledge that I'm starting to take in for the hobby really helping okay with what I'm doing so, so knowledge, knowledge I haven't got a triumph yet yeah but in my journey in the next two or three years where I want to go is potentially when I will be able to answer that question better because I hope to be showing Koi right okay. not necessarily taking the best in class or anything but winning some sort of achievement you know, yeah okay fun. one piece of advice for new Koi keepers the same as most people would say research 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 and more research yeah okay before yeah. absolutely doing anything right question seven what has been your biggest coy mistake not understanding water parameters yeah good one good one question eight future plans I mean you have mentioned four and a half thousand gallons yeah would that then be encompassing with your future plans? Yeah, so my future plans are not just the pond, it's the journey that I want to go from there. So once my pond is built, it's then taking koi from potentially toe's eye, growing them through and winning awards for these different sections. Excellent. Question nine, do you get support from your partner? Absolutely 150%. Good. Do you want to mention your partner? Kelly Little, she's a diamond and I love her very dear. Hey, I love that. And your final question of your 10 in 10, what is your favourite fish? And you don't necessarily have to own that fish, it's just, what's your favourite fish? Like most koi keepers, it swings depending on what you're fancying. Um, but my preference is a fully scaled koi, and at the minute, I really like the Matsuba range that's well developed. Good choice, good choice. Right, Crafty Koi, thank you for your 10 in 10. Thank you. Peter Wallace Award for the best tattoo really good. good afternoon. Hello. So, can you tell me your name, your age, your home, and your profession? Uh, my name is Jim. From it's what I do. Um, my home is um, South Ogden in Essex, down near Lakeside. Yep. And my profession, I'm a bus driver. 
Yeah. Bus driver. I am. Are you going to keep your age a secret? Oh, 57. 57. Yeah. Okay, Jim. So you, this is your 10 in 10. Question one. How many koi keeping years have you had? Uh, that's a difficult one. I've kept ponds for about 35 years. Okay. Um, and I suppose I bought my first koi three or four years after I started, I suppose. Yep. Um, so a good length of time. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. Question two, what is your current pond size and how many fish do you have? Um, too many. <laughs> and the pond size is about three and a half thousand litres, so it's not big. Okay, three and a half so, thousand litres. Yeah. Uh, question three, always a good one. Is this your forever pond? No, definitely not. Definitely <laughs> not. Question four, if all your fish in your pond disappeared overnight, what would be your alternative hobby? Um, woodworking, probably. What, lathe work or general? Any, anything anything to do with wood? Yeah. Okay. Question five. What has been your biggest koi triumph? Uh, I don't know. Managing to keep them alive, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Question six. One piece of advice for new koi keepers. Um, go bigger than you think. Is that pond size or fish size? Pond size. Pond size, yeah. okay. Question seven. We've had the biggest triumph. What has been your biggest mistake? Um, using FMG over 30 degrees. Oh, I right. I lost a fish for that. Right, okay. Question eight. Future plans. Yeah. What are your future plans? In terms of? Pond size, digging a new one. Um, once, Increasing your stock. Once the aviary, aviaries have gone, because uh, we're, we're gradually going down on the number of birds in the aviaries. Okay. Once they're gone, I should be building a new pond there. So. Excellent. Excellent. Question nine. Do you get support from your partner? Um, yeah, she cheers from the background. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's good enough. Good yeah. enough. And your final question. So you don't necessarily have to have a favourite fish, it might not be something you have in your pond, but what is your favourite fish? Oh, I've got three I suppose. Um, I like Ogons. Yeah. Um, Sanku and uh, Shoa. Okay. Thank you Jim, that is your 10 in 10. Cheers. Turn around, give us a twirl, let's have a look at the back. There you go, it's what I do, give him a follow. Thank you Jim. Cheers. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Right, this is your 10 in 10. So first initial bit is can you give me your name, your age, your home and your profession? Right, um, retired, Dave Sexton, Koi Karma. Uh, age, over 70. Over 70. Okay, so your first question is how many Koi keeping years have you had? 30 plus. 30 plus, yeah. okay. <laughs> Number two, what is your current pond size and how many fish do you have? Well, it's only small, Steve, at the moment because the missus uh, has had half the garden for planting. But okay. it's, uh, it's uh, just over um, a thousand gallons. And how many fish do you have in that thousand gallons? Oh, I've got 12 in there 12. and two in an IVC. Right, Go okay. On. Question three, this is always a complex one. <laughs> is this your forever pond? No. 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 Okay, we'll leave that there. <laughs> Question four. If your pond and fish disappeared overnight, what would be your alternative hobby? Uh, the hobby I do as well alongside it is match fishing. Match fishing, yep. okay. Number five. In koi keeping, what has been your biggest triumph? Biggest triumph, I think, um, gaining the knowledge from other YouTubers and and colleagues okay uh, that does get mentioned quite often yeah uh, but most of them have been absolutely spot on good good um question what are we on six one piece of advice for new koi keepers go bigger if you can and research okay question seven what has been your biggest koi keeping mistake not going big enough in the first place. <laughs> well, it had to come, didn't it? Question eight. Future plans? Uh, to grow bigger. To grow bigger? Yeah. 
These yeah. are really easy, really easy. Uh, question nine, do you get support from your partner? Oh, absolutely, yeah, she's amazing. Do you want to give her a shout out? Yeah, God bless you, Lynn, you're a diamond. There you go. And final one, what is your favourite fish, but you don't necessarily have to own that fish, what is your favourite fish? My favourite fish, I'm partial to um, Yamabuki Ogons. Yamabuki Ogons. Yeah, which we've got one in our pond. Excellent, Stunner. excellent. So that is your 10 in 10. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Come on, Corporal. Go on, Lee. Go on, Lee. That's right. Come on. Well done, Lee. Watson, turning side.